They had to execute judgment. The lamb who did not sin took the sin of man that man could take the life of the lamb. Are y'all listening to me? I'm going to say that again. The lamb who did not sin and do anything wrong. Because we are the only ones that have a choice to disobey God. That's good. Animals do exactly what God tells them to do. The sun, the moon, the star, the galaxies do exactly what God tells them to do. God put that sun in the sky and he told it to rise every day. And since that day, the sun has been going up and down every day. Wow. We are the only people that have a choice that when God tells us to do something, do we want to do it? Are, are, are y'all listening to me? So, so the, lamb, the animal was innocent. The lamb was innocent. But they took the innocent lamb and killed it as though it sinned so that the guilty man and woman could take the life of the lamb. Do you see Jesus in that? That they strapped him down (laughs) to the cross. They hung him high. Oh yeah. And they stretched him wide. He did nothing to be killed like that. Everything in his 33 years of living, he did according to what God wanted him to do. Amen. Even though he could disobey, he chose not to. So the Bible said, says, he who knew no sin mm-hmm. has now became sin. Are y'all listening to me? That's the word. So us that was shaped in sin uh-huh. become come righteous. Yes. It was a substitution. That's why we worship Jesus because Jesus became the murderer. Thank you, Lord. So that the murderer could go free. Yes. Thank you, God. Jesus became the prostitute. Yes. Uh-huh. So that the prostitute could go free. Yes. Jesus became the drug addict. Yes. So that the drug addict could go free. Yes. Jesus became the fornicator. Yes. Uh-huh. So that the fornicator could go free. Thank you, Lord. Are y'all listening to me? Yes. So whatever you was in your past life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason that you are saved today is because Jesus became you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. He yes. Are y'all listening to me? He died in your place. Uh-huh. That's why you shouldn't get beside yourself and think that God owes you something or should do something for you. Because really, we all deserve to die. That's right. We all deserve hell and damnation. Come on. But the reason we will obtain eternal life and be under the presence of God for eternity is because Jesus died. Thank you, Lord. He died. To the sun refused to shine. He died till the veil in the temple was ripped from the top to the bottom. He died till law fell over into grace. He died so that he could take needles out of junkies' arms. Yeah, yeah. He died so he could take crack pipes out of the hands of his children. He died so he could take the bottle out of the hands of his children. Yeah, yeah. He died so you don't have to prostitute yourself. Thank you, Lord. He died so that you can be free who the sun sets free. Free. Yes, free free indeed. Free in your mind. Yes. Free in your body. Yes. Free from sickness. Free. Free. No chance. No hold up. No lock up. Free. Thank you, Lord. Free to be. Free to go in. Yes. Free to come out. Come out. Free to bless. Free to receive. Yes. was a business deal. Yeah. Where God pulled out his check. Oh, yeah. And he purchased your freedom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Are y'all oh, yeah. To you incarcerated. Yeah, yeah. If the devil had it his way, you would still be locked up. Come on. You would still be doing what you're used to doing. My God. You would still be living the way you used to live. But God pulled out his check. Thank you, Lord. You can't have my son. You can't have my son. Yeah. Thank 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. The altar. Yeah. When the lamb died. My God. My God. Amen. Then after the altar. The blazing altar. The fire altar. That's what people are supposed to meet when they come into the house of God. It's supposed to be fire. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. Not a dead church. Come on. Right? Not a lukewarm church. Yeah. Church on fire. It's supposed to be the church on fire. There you yeah. go. Church on fire. Burn yeah. everything. Everything. Yeah. everything. But after the altar yeah. was the bronze lever. Yeah. Come on, come on. Now, the bronze lever was different. Mm-hmm. Are y'all listening to me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a big bronze mm-hmm. bone. Yeah. Full of water. Mm. Let me show you in the word. Amen. Mm-hmm. The book of Exodus 30, 17, 21 says, Then the Lord said unto Moses, Make a bronze basin, and with it a bronze stand for washing. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Place it between the tent meeting and the altar, and put water in it. Aaron and his sons are to wash their hands and feet with water from it. Whenever they enter into the tent of meeting, they shall wash with water so that they will not die. Also, when they approach the altar to minister by presenting offerings made to the Lord by fire, they shall wash with water their hands and feet so they will not die. This is to be the last ordinance for Aaron and his descendants from generations to come. Exodus 38 8 says, they made the bronze basin and the bronze stand with mirrors of the woman who served at the entrance to the tent of meat. I'm going to break this down and we go. So God told them to make a bronze basin, but you're not making it with the same bronze that you made the altar with. You're going to make this with polished bronze that women use as mirrors. Are y'all listening to me? And you're going to put water in it. And any time you do, the priest do any form of ministry, whether they go into the tent, amen, the holies of holies, or or the holy place, or they go to the altar, they are to wash their hands and their feet. Understanding, brothers and sisters, that back in those days, you did not have paved streets. It did not have enclosed shoes. Are y'all listening to me? So it was easy to get extremely dirty. Are y'all listening to me? In those living conditions, brothers and sisters. So God said, before you do any ministry, amen, on my behalf, you ought to wash that you may live. Understanding, brothers and sisters, that just living in this world, even as a Christian, you can get dirty in its own. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Saved and you can still get dirty. Yeah. Are, are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Because you are in a sinful world, brothers and sisters. So you're you 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 have been saved. Are y'all listening to yeah. me? Yeah. You are being saved, and, and one day the Bible says you will be saved. When the Bible says you will be saved, it's saying that one day God will take you out of the presence of sin. So even though right now you are saved and you're in this world, you still saved see sin. Are y'all listening to me? You still hear sinful music. You still see sinful images. Are y'all listening to me? And you still have stuff enticing that flesh by your end because you're in a sinful world. So it says if you're not careful, you're going to get dirty. But even if you get dirty, you have to wash anyway. You cannot do anything for me until you wash in the water. So what is the water symbolic for? The water is symbolic for the word. Are y'all listening to me? It is the word that cleanses your soul. Yeah, yeah. Are y'all listening? Yeah. It is the word that washes this there you go. off me. Are y'all listening? Y'all, it is the word. That's why you have to read the word every morning. Uh-huh. It's like as you get in the, in the shower every morning to wash off yesterday's dirt. Yeah. Well, the yesterday's dirt is just not on your body. Yeah. It's in your soul. Too. Come on. So every morning, yeah, you gotta get up and you gotta take a spiritual shower, yeah. which is washing up the word. Yeah. I cleanse my body Preach. but my soul is Preach. still dirty. So just don't cleanse your body and forget to cleanse your soul too. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So he says you got to watch. Yeah. Anytime you're going 
gonna do something for me, that way you will live and not die. The Bible clearly lets us know that survival is in the word. Life and death is Power in the, the word. If you want a prosperous life, you have to read the word. If you want a healthy life, you have to read the word. If you want to be blessed, you have to read the word. If you want to drive curses off you, you have to read the word. If you want the devil to back up, you have to read the word. If you want to have a regulated mind, you have to read the word. If you want peace in your soul, oh, yeah. You have to read the word. If you want to uh, cancel the assignment of the adversary, you have read to the read word. the word. But just don't read it and hear it. You also have to do, do it. it. Are y'all listening to me? So he just didn't tell him to look at the word or look at the water. He said, no, you got to put your hands in there you go. and your feet in it. Come on, Are y'all listening to me? Uh -huh. You got to wash off that filthiness. And some of the filthiness that you have on you, you didn't even do it to yourself. Your mama and your daddy gave you some of that. Come food. on. They mama and they daddy gave you some of that. Say food. that. They mama and they daddy 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 gave you some of that filthiness. Filthiness comes through the DNA. Come You're on. a liar because your mama was a liar. Her mama was a liar. Preach. Oh, yeah, yeah. You lustful because your daddy was lustful. His daddy was lustful. Are y'all listening to me? So you got to watch till the word goes down. To your generation, to your generation. Yes. You have to tell yourself, I'm going to get so much word that I'm going to break the curse. That's it. That. The thing that I'm fighting, it won't get to my kids. Yes. It won't get to their kids. It won't get to their kids. I'm about to clean myself. The generation after generation shall be clean. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He says, make it for the bronze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Polished bronze. Mm -hmm. Because I want you to see yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hide. No, 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 no. You can't hide from who you really is. Yeah. Say that. You're, you're crazy. You know he is. Yeah. You're on, confused. Please. You know he is. You never show up on time. You know who you are. Yeah. So you got to keep it real with yourself. Amen. You can never get a breakthrough in life until you first admit that you're addicted, you're an addict. I'm struggling, I'm hurting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah, that. Yeah. But God says when you come to the word, amen, you're going to see yourself. Why right? y'all listening yeah. to All right. this? You're going to see yourself. You're going to see who I called you to be yeah. versus who you really are. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to But if you keep washing yourself and dipping every day, are y'all listening to uh -huh. I will start to change yeah. your very nature. Yeah. Good. Of who you are. Yeah. Be not conformed. I don't know if this is too yeah, yeah. to the world, but right, right. be transformed yeah. by the renewing, renewing of, of your, your mind. mind. Yeah. God it. says, I'm going to change you through the word, but first you have to come to me just as you is. Yes. You can't put no makeup on. Uh -huh. You can't dress up. You can't act like you got it all together. Come on. Like you got it figured out. No, 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 no. You got to wash yourself and see who you really are. Yes. You see the dirt on your face. The dirt on you, eh? Are y'all listening to me? Yeah, God. The word. It let you know who you really are. Man. That's why the Apostle Paul and all of his intelligence. Yes, Lord. And all of his writings. Uh -huh. He told you something about himself. He said, I'm a wretched man. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The man that wrote 13 books of the New Testament. Mm -hmm. The man that told us about the fivefold ministry. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? Mm -hmm. The man that told us about the spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening yeah. to me? The man that explained what, what a pastor should do. With, he said, but no, 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 no. When I look. In the, <laughs> when I look, I'm gonna preach right here. In the mirror, yes, yes. What I see mm -hmm. is a wretched man. Mm -hmm. So what is cleansing me and making me this righteous man yes. is the word. Man, are y'all listening to me? It is a must mm -hmm. that believers read the Bible because you can be saved. And still going to heaven and still living like you're not. Mm -hmm. You can be a son and daughter of God and still acting like you're not. That's right. You often hear me give this analogy. Have you seen 
President Obama's daughters walking up East 14th, prostituting their bodies, you will pull over and say, what's wrong with you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't you know who you are? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know who your daddy is? Yeah. Wow. Don't you know what you have vulnerable to yourself? Mm -hmm. Don't you know? Amen. Well, it's the same thing with us. If you don't read that word and come to a clear understanding, you're going to miss out on a whole lot of blessings. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved, mm -hmm. able to rightly divide the, the word, word of truth, so you won't be made ashamed. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can be saved, but you can still be made ashamed because you're living, because you have information, in other words, you're ignorant because there's information you need that you don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so you could be dying of a sickness. And y'all listen to me. When the word tells me I was wounded for my transgression. Come on now. I just, you could be keep saying I'm broke. I'm going to be broke. I'm going to die broke. I'm poor. And the word says you're supposed to be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in your yeah, going. Yeah. But, but you're being made ashamed because you're ignorant. And anytime you're ignorant, I can make you a slave. That's right. Wow. So that's why the first thing they told the slaves is. Don't let them read. 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 They can get strong. They can build muscles. They can dance. They can do all that. But don't let them read. Because when you let them read, you're going to open up their mind to who they really are. Oh, are y'all listening yeah. to me? Yeah. And the more you read the word, the more your mind really opens yeah. up to yeah. who you really are. Yeah. Till you start looking around and saying, "Why am I? <laughs> Why am I living like this? Acting like this? Doing like this?" When the Bible tells me I'm blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in my going, blessed in my coming. Greater is He that's in me than He that's in the world. I can do all things according to the power. Of God that worketh within me. Are y'all listening yeah. to me? Brother? That's the word. I command demons to tremble and flee. Mm. Are y'all oh, listening yes. to me? the thing that God, yes, Lord, has oh. called you to triumph over? You could be falling a victim to because you're ignorant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta read. That's you right. You have to read. Mm -hmm. You have to read. You have to read. Yeah. Man. You have to read. You cannot go to another level by something that you don't have no idea about. Mm. Are y'all listening Amen. to me? Amen. Like I was telling them Bible study, you know what makes you a doctor? It's, it's not that they change your address, they change your clothes, they change your speech, they change your... No, they just give you a bunch of books. Mm -hmm. That's all they do. Mm -hmm. That's all they do is put a bunch of books in front of you and they tell them you read them and study them and take tests. And before you know it, that, that reading all the information starts to transform your mind as you start thinking like a doctor. Mm -hmm. So you went in one way and you came out another, another way. Are y'all listening Come to on, me? Man. Anything you are trying to do with your life, it first starts with studying. You will never be a millionaire if you never study money. Man. You can wish I get money all the days of your life, but until you study how money works and how money does and budgeting and this and that, you will never get it. Are y'all listening to uh -huh. me, brothers and sisters? You have to study it. Study to show thyself approved. If you want to be a great singer, you have to study it. If you want to be a great orator, you have to study it. If you want, I, I, if you want to be a great parent, get on, get some books. Yeah. Study how parenting goes. Yeah. Are y'all listening yeah. to me? Yeah. You have to read. That's why, if you notice, every time it's time to read the Bible, you're oh. sleepy. Mm -hmm. It yeah. happens to me too. Yeah. I can be up all night. When I say, okay, I'm going to read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because he don't want you to get that word. Because mm -mm. it's that word that you're fighting. Yeah, but I like it. Oh, I'm getting out of here. But it said the word is a sword. Are y'all listening mm -hmm. to me? It's by what you attack the devil with. You can't attack him with prayer. You can't attack him with coming to church. You can't attack him with any of that. He's still going to be ringing your house. How you drive him out That's is that you serve the eviction notice. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Yes. Everything in this world that holds weight is wrote down on paper. That's right. Amen. Y'all, this is real. Right. If That's it's right. real, mm -hmm. it's on paper. It's on paper. Are y'all listening yes. to me? God says, I put life and death 
in that book. Mm -hmm. And every single day, I need you to get up and read the contract and see what I've done for you. Amen. 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 Amen.